going to be new member Andrew. As a reminder, we heard the truncated version of what will be a 30 to 45 minute presentation by Judy. So that we will focus our feedback on that and remind you all that we give her own feedback. Judy shared with us that she, as you heard, she wants to give this presentation to middle and senior high students, high school students. She will need to pitch the presentation and that she wanted us to focus on the mood and the tone moving from the darker story of her personal story into the hope and the light for the students. So I'm going to begin focusing from the perspective of a school leader, administrator, who would hear her pitch and give her feedback from that standpoint. Jonathan's going to give her feedback on the mood and the tone and how he felt she handled that. And then Leo's going to end with giving her feedback as a teenager on the impact of her presentation to him. So Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> I've been dying to say that. <laughs> First of all, before I get into this particular presentation and this comment relates, I want you also to have a goal, please, to be on the stage for World Championship of Public Speaking. Mm. I can see you have that in you. So either next year in Denver, 2020 in Paris, 2021 in Nashville. I want to see you on the stage one of those three places. And the reason I say that is what you showed me today, I feel will have impact for my students as the administrator of my school. From your story and how you tell that, how you show that, and their emotions, and I won't get into what Jonathan's going to give you feedback on, but just what I saw in that pitch presentation to Canada from that standpoint. And then how you can connect and move the students to hope. I have students in my school who don't have hope because of terrible situations, horrendous situations that have happened in their life. And so I feel you can be a good example and a good model, role model for that. Now, because this was truncated, I'm assuming some information will be presented. I'm assuming in your speaker introduction that you will tell what you have accomplished. Be sure to share that, because when you talk about you can be a success at the end, I want to be sure the students hear in your speaker introduction what you've done, how you've been successful in your journey. So be sure to include that in your speaker introduction. You talked about moving to having students go to professionals. And Leo will talk about how that impacted the student. For me, that's a huge message. What I want to be sure you include is maybe a specific example of who you talk to, what kind of professional you talk to, a therapist, psychology example. Just so students can think, oh, okay, that's one professional I can see. Right now, they you know the counselor is in a school, but maybe professionals outside the school setting. So be sure you talk about at least one of your people, professionals you want to help you in your journey. The expressiveness of your voice. When you move to the light and tell the, telling the students that there's hope and you can be successful and sure talk to professionals, I want to see that more reflected more in your face. I think it's hard to move from one to the other. And so just to show that and then maybe to say, you know, and here's how I felt when I got to the point, you know, six years later, you said you took six years to teach that journey. Here's how I felt you know, when I was the leader of my professional life or whatever aspect we like to choose to share. So be sure to show us that in your face as well, as long as that you know, standing at the river and how you show that. I think that will have an impact for students as well. Uh, I am looking forward to this presentation being given to our students. And there's something we want to share with Jordan. Okay. Uh, Judy, you have a great ability to be very dramatic in the way you speak. You can be very expressive. One of the things I greatly appreciated about your speech is being able to move very clearly along a tonal path. Laying out an image for us at the beginning of this calm, flowing river, and then having that go from being good thing, to being very much a bad thing, like that. Because one of the things that you do not often see is this juxtaposition of 
of what is on the surface not necessarily being what is actually happening. The tone of your speech was able to take on a very serious topic in a manner that was very approachable, but appropriate for what needed to happen, for what you were trying to convey. Um, as I'm sure you are well aware, this is a topic that is very, very close to me personally. And The way you are able to handle maintaining an appropriate mood is something that I found very relatable. It, 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 was, it was not you trying to be the super somber adult. It wasn't you trying to lighten the topic at all, though at the same time. So you hit a good balance on that. Uh, that being said, uh, I, I think that you could have had the transitions in those juxtapositions be more intense, more dramatic. When you're talking about the river, going from talking about that river moving along and saying, but all I wanted to do was just throw myself in, let it take me away, and never return. Something along those lines. Because that conveys the utter pain that you are feeling. And there was a certain amount of while your tone was appropriate, I'm not sure that the pain within your tone came across as strongly as maybe it could have. Other than that, like I said, it, you were very good at conveying the subject matter in an appropriate way for what needed to be conveyed. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I say, well, how should you because I'm still thinking how should I res you know, respond to that because obviously a very personal, very emotional, and very, very passionate uh, speech, and it's, uh, you know, it's always a great experience to be able to sit in an audience and listen, listen, listen to that and reflect on your own personal experience, and I want to thank you for sharing that with us. But my goal as an 18-year-old or a 17 or 16-year-old, as, as I was listening to you, was to give us feedback from that type of perspective as much as I can. And my questions here are what part, if any of the speech did not work well. There were a lot of parts in the speech that worked well and it kept vacillating for me. There were times when you were giving a speech and there were times when you were talking to me personally. When you were giving a speech, it wasn't as effective even though I could still see the passion and emotion. It wasn't, it was, wasn't touching me as close. For example, in your opening, you, you said, imagine this. You can just tell me, um, one day, sunny day, I was sitting on the banks of the river. The river was flowing. All I could do, I just wanted to walk out onto the water, walk across the water, and slowly sink and get washed away. Uh, just simple, simple, and effective where they can actually see you in that picture, where I could see you in that picture, because I can identify then with that, that in, emotion. You don't have to try to place me in that position, because for the most part, most students or most younger people have, <laughs> have that angst and kind of will, will associate uh, right away. Um, so, Getting those personal bits and pieces from you um, is much more important than the, than the speech itself. And I know that this is a condensed speech. However, I would say if you have a you have know, a 40-minute speech, but you only have five minutes to save my life, what would you say? So that the 40, you know, the length of speech is not important. It's, it's the time that you do have and that you do use. That's important. So I would consider that as you give a speech because you may not always have the amount of time you want, but uh, Making that, you know, making that. So, what's the most important, and how do I connect with this this, this person? Uh, so that there were, and like I said, there were different times when when, you, when I did feel the connection. That was at the little the little bits and stories, bits and stories. You did in in some areas. I thought that you.
you were trying to give them too much information, meaning you went into, you know, the drinking and, and, the, and the bullying and, and things like that when you started out with the situation where I, where I connected with you feeling uh, hopeless and helpless. And then when you went into that and, and, and later on your, your, your explanation about, ex, you know, that uh, hang in there and escape, well, escapism for me was drinking. <laughs> drinking. So there was a mixed, a mixed uh, uh, thing there. So that's something to uh, you know, think about. And then uh, in your in your transit in your transit, I really liked that when you when you spoke about um, worth and like and love in a person. And, and actually, when you're creating a vision for someone, and you go, "Okay, this is what I felt like. This is what, this is how I feel now." I think. That came up, that came across well. I think you guys found on that avenue to uh, have that to work with. So, thanks for your sharing, and uh, that might be evaluated. Thanks, Leslie. But Judy, you've heard a perspective of three guys. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah.